This is Ronnie O'Neill. He is a double murder suspect in Riverview, Florida. If you think I'm here to put it out with y'all, God damn it, O'Neill was torn. <laughs> bro, bro what is, first of all, what is up with your head, bro? I understand it's a Florida thing. But look at, look at his head, bro. Look at like his shit ready to come off. O'Neal was 29 when he fatally shot his then girlfriend Kenyatta Barron. Following this, he murdered their own daughter by striking her multiple times with a hatchet. She was only nine years old. O'Neal also stabbed their eight year old son before pouring gasoline all over the house and setting it on fire. O'Neal was arrested upon fleeing the burning house. The son was able to escape but was critically wounded and suffered from burns. The first. Bro, just imagine, yo. His son. The only one who's still alive. How traumatized he probably be. All because you wanted to do some dumb BS. Sad, bro. 911 call on the incident was from the girlfriend who was heard screaming before suddenly hanging up. Eight minutes later, another call came in from O'Neill. 911, what is your emergency? Hey, I've just been attacked by some white demon inside with this guy, Kiki. Kiki, her name is Kiki. And she tried to. What? Oh. You was inside Kiki. I was inside Kiki. Kiki, her name is Kiki. And she tried to kill me. And What's I, you huh? After the arrest, O'Neal was psychologically cleared to represent himself in court. During the trial, he cross-examined his now 11-year-old son, who he stabbed, to which the son explained everything that happened. He stabbed his son. I just need to. He still got respect. Did I? Hurt you that night of this incident? Yes. Why are you talking I like did. that? And how did I hurt you? You stabbed me. O'Neill also accused the prosecution of fabricating evidence. Because he's playing a fraudulent damn recording of me beating Kenyatta Barron. I did kill Kenyatta Barron. That's one thing I'm O'Neill wrote. Just by you saying it's fraudulent, just because you're saying it's fraudulent, especially you the suspect in this situation, they're not going to care what you got to say. Like, you're just wasting your breath at this point. Found guilty. At his sentencing, the judge went on to say this was the worst case she's ever seen. This is the worst case ever, ever in my life. And I have she seen said that, some you lost right there. horrors. He also stated right that he was not sorry for what he did. I am not sorry for something I didn't do, and I am not sorry for the things I did do. <laughs> O'Neill was given a total of three <laughs> life sentences, I can't take it, plus serious, 90 yo. years without parole. And for O'Neill's son, he was adopted by the detective who cared for him the night of the murders. <laughs> This is Randall Moore. He is facing three life sentences for crimes against his former wife, Therese Ann Lynch. Lynch had left her husband and filed a protective order against him. This resulted in Moore kidnapping and killing his estranged wife. Officer Todd Rowland responded to the cries from the apartment, where he was then shot and wounded. Okay, 303 Adam's been hit, officer down. Suspects armed with 20 shells. Advises nobody come to the door as he will shoot again. Shortly after, Moore had a phone call with a 911 dispatcher. Listen as he explains his motives. I didn't want to do any of this. Okay. But I'm telling you, all I wanted was my son. I just wanted to see my seven month old baby. That's all I cared about. Not long <coughs> after, Moore surrendered, and for Officer Roland, he underwent surgery for his hand. As the verdict is read out, Moore gives nothing but a slight nod. We, the jury, find the defendant guilty of murder in the first degree. We, the jury, find the defendant guilty of kidnapping in the first degree. Guilty of sexual abuse in the first degree. Guilty of attempt to commit murder. At Moore's sentencing, Lynch's mother gives a victim impact statement. You did to my daughter, Tristan Marie Lynch, was evil, hateful, and despicable. You are now dead and rotting and repulsive to me. We, the jury, see a child's Thank you, Judge. 
Why you gotta to anybody, but especially your child loser. mother. Like. Moore refused to apologize for his actions, saying he had no remorse for what happened. And I'll tell you point blank, I have not one ounce of remorse for Tree Sand's death. It could have all been prevented. All you had to do is let me see my kid. So now you, you're never gonna see her again. So you kill her. Just because you can't see your baby and you try to justify like that's cool like you but they don't have fun with you the judge if anybody didn't know what a piece of work you were before you start talking they know it now the court doesn't mm -hmm. allow me to punish you any more than i'm doing now if i could I would. Moore was given a total of three life sentences plus 25 years for the attempted murder. Dude, this well, is Keith Ferguson from Kalkaska, Michigan. He was sent to court for 12 felony counts, including kidnapping and murder. Ferguson, who was 40 at the time, was engaged in a divorce argument with his wife, Tiffany Ferguson when he begun to suddenly beat her, followed by fatally shooting her in front of their four children. He then hauled the children over to Tiffany's parents' house where he why fatally you, shot his why? father. Why, why are you doing After fleeing the scene, kids? Ferguson stormed a nearby house, taking the owner hostage and barricaded himself inside the home. After a seven hour standoff, Ferguson was arrested. All right, Mr. Ferguson, can I get you to stand up there at the podium, please? All right, I need to have you ready to write the end for me. You say, whoa. I know he ain't just say what I thought he just said. Grayson, can I get you to stand up there at the podium, please? I ain't standing. Right, I need to have you ready to write the end for me. Okay, all right. Um, pull me back, come on. Bro, and she oh, okay, trying to stop. be nice to you, too, bro. Um, like she could easily say back or easily give you more time. Easily fine. Statement saying she always felt that Keith would hurt his wife. I knew one day he would kill her. She would always reply, he loves his kids too much. He won't kill me. He just look like he don't care. He loved them so much. He murdered their mother and like, grandfather. When asked about his children, Ferguson never desired to see or speak to them again. The judge responded by saying, may not meet the clinical definition of insanity, uh, but there's clearly something fundamentally wrong with you. Ferguson was given a life sentence without the possibility of parole. I see y'all in hell. Don't see yourself in hell. You go this like dad is Michael Everybody Swanson, who was 17 when he went on a killing spree of two Iowa gas station attendees in the span of an hour. Where did you shoot? Front of the body? Yeah. And in the face? In the face? Okay. Right, right in the face. Swanson entered a gas station in Elgano, Iowa, in a ski mask and a handgun, demanding cash and cigarettes from 47 year old Vicki Bowman Hall. Despite following the request without hesitation, Swanson still shot and killed her. An hour later in Hollywood, Iowa, Swanson repeated cash, the bro. same act in another gas station, you probably get this no time more killing Sheila hours. Myers. He was arrested 60 miles away from the shooting when authorities identified his vehicle. With both victims following his request but were killed anyways, it indicated that murder was Swanson's primary goal. You know, it feels powerful or... That it's kind of a rush, or what did you feel when you pulled the trigger? I feel powerful. Swanson was charged with two counts of first degree murder and two counts of burglary. All allegations of Swanson's motives were answered by himself. I then intentionally, deliberately, and with premeditation shot the clerk, causing her to die. I did this with an specific intent to kill her. Now, as oh, one of the what? victim's daughters gives a victim impact statement, Swanson sits completely emotionless. How could you do what you did to my mom and my family? I want to know if you're even sorry. Oh, Are you sorry for what you did? My mom was not only completely 100% innocent, but she was also a defenseless woman when you came in with that gun. You said you did it for cigarettes and money and so no one could identify you, but I think that's a lie. You did it as you later said on that it was so you could feel powerful. As Swanson was sentenced, he smiled and laughed. 
cold-blooded murder. Cold-blooded murder, young man. You are dangerous. You are unpredictable. This one video game. That's his Prison problem. for the rest of your life. Swanson was given two life sentences, and four years oh, yeah, into his sentence, he slit another inmate's throat. I'm gonna get at y'all the next one. That's a lot.